this is Munson with Munson Music. I'm going to talk about how you can play a song called Out on the Weekend by Neil Young. And it starts off with these cool little licks around some chords through our intro. And we start on a B minor chord. Normally you do this second fret bar, second finger on the B, third fret, third finger on the D, fourth fret, and the pinky on the G, fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a B minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. Now, randomly on B minors, you might want to lift off the pinky and make that a B minor 7. Or another way to play B minor 7, you just start now, is to do first finger on the A second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the high E second. Maybe kind of take on that for a B minor 7. Or another possibility you might be using just a power chord. There are definitely some other bar chords through the tune, so if you're looking for easier way outs, yeah, you could play B5 by doing first finger on the A second, third finger on the D fourth fret. And I'll work just those two notes. And through that part, actually, you hear this cool little lick where you can almost play the A string twice and then do a hammer on into second fret from the open E and then third fret on the B string, fourth on the G, fourth on the D, fourth on the G. And most of that is actually around that bar B minor chord. Might be a cool little lick to throw in around the B minor. Of a bass, bass, oh, two, three, three, four, 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 and then from the B minor would be going to an E major chord. And normally you do this first finger on the G second, or first fret, oh my gosh, second finger on the A second, third finger on the D second. If you strum all those together, that sounds an E major chord and it sounds really happy. Now, around E's in general, it can be kind of cool to take the pinky, and there are definitely some licks at the end of the verse this way. We could add in the pinky on the G string second fret, make that an E suspended chord, or you may dig on making the E an E7 by lifting off the third finger, or adding in the pinky on the B string third fret to give it a little bit more bite. And on that chord, you'll definitely hear this little lick where you could play the open E and do a hammer on into the G string first fret, open E twice, go back to the G for a hammer on, and then open E. So you may want to kind of play around with that. It's kind of an E lick anytime the E shows up through the tune. It's kind of that oh, 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 one, oh, 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 one, oh. And on that intro, we kind of alternate between those ideas, actually, kind of that B minor. And then the E major. And we do that four times, and then we go to a C sharp minor chord. And normally you do this as a fourth fret bar. 2nd finger on the B, 5th fret, 3rd finger on the D, 6th fret, pinky on the G, 6th fret. And if you strum all those together, all oh, the sad sounds of C sharp minor. So it's the same shape we were doing for B minor, but now we're going to go to 4th fret. And you may also dig on lifting off the pinky and making that a C sharp minor 7. Or adding in the pinky on the high E 7 for a C sharp minor 7. Or if you're kind of looking for easier way outs, you could use just the power chord idea by doing 1st finger on the A 4th, 3rd finger on the D 6th. Working that with the C sharp idea. And then from the C sharp, we'd be going to an F sharp major. Normally, you do this as a second fret bar, second finger on the G, third fret, third finger on the A fourth, pinky on the D fourth. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F sharp major chord. It sounds really happy. You may also dig on lifting off the pinky and making that an F sharp seven. Or adding in the pinky on the B string, fifth fret, F sharp seven. Or actually, a, a reposition F sharp seven. Um, would be first finger on the B second fret, second finger on the G sec, uh, third fret, third finger on the D fourth fret. And if you show them the D string, the high E string, is that another way you can work that sharp seven? Or if you're digging on the power chord idea, it's kind of a, an idea for some of these bar chords. You can do first finger on the low E second, third finger on the A fourth fret. You can work that as an F sharp five. And then from the F sharp, we go back to our B minor, and then we go to our E major. And you could work that a couple different ways through the tune, actually. I was, I was just kind of doing an A down count. You could even add muting to that, kind of a B minor. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, E. B minor, E. do that twice. And then we got our C sharp minor, F sharp, E minor, E major. From there, or actually another strum pattern that you may want to play around with, one of my favorite strum patterns for a full chord like this, is down, down, up, up, down, up. If you do the B minor, just try that a lot. You have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down. So that'd be a super slow pace for this tune. So we kind of tried that through that intro part. We have the B minor. Then we 
got her C sharp minor. is something called the 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that into four parts. So one, two, three, four, and one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is if you take the B minor and do a down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, First beat. Then on the second beat, you do a down on one, down on three, up on four. So we're going one, two, three, four, down, 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 down. Then on the third beat, you do an up on two, down on three. So we're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you go down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So it's down, First verse starts on an A major chord, and normally you do this first finger on the B second, second finger on the G second, and third finger on the B second. And if you strum all those together, ah, the beautiful sounds of A major. Um, now you may also dig on lifting off the third finger, making that an A sus two, or adding in the pinky on the B string third for an A suspended chord, and kind of singing some stuff around the A major. And through our verse, our main progression, we kind of end up on our A. We go to B minor, and then we go to the E major, and then we go back to the A major. Or you can do that down, down, up, up, down, up. A minor, A minor, E major, A major. Or you can get on that with the sixteen. We're really kind of following that that A B minor E A chain, just like our verses. But you'll kind of hear where the bass player stays on the open A string through that part. So what you may want to do is kind of take the A major, right? But then when you go to the, the B minor, what you may want to do is kind of if you imagine that bar we were doing, and then lifting off the bar. <laughs> so you've got just second finger on the B third, third finger on the B fourth, pinky on the G fourth. And you could kind of strum that from the open A, and that would kind of be like B minor slash A, or B minor with an A in the bass. I'm digging on that with the open E. You could even add in the pinky, or the first finger on that, just the high E, second fret. Kind of dig on that. So kind of A major to a B minor slash A, or B minor with an A in the bass. And then for the E major chord, you may want to lift off the second finger, and then kind of work the open A to the high E string. That's kind of an E major slash A or an E with an A in the bass. So through that part, you could work any of those ideas too. A, B minor slash A, or you could even change fingers depending on what's feeling good to you as long as you're in the, in the same place. That Harmonica solo. 
soul is it's a little bit like our intro. Now, one other thing I think about adding the song is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down, of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you throw in a bass for the chord. So on the A, you'd have an A for the bass. On the B minor, you'd have an A for the bass. On the E, you'd have a low E for the bass. On the C sharp minor, you'd have an A for the bass. On the F sharp, you'd have the low E for the bass. And on our uh, slash A chords, on B minor slash A, if you want to just use the open A string, open A for the E slash A. that idea through that harmonica solo, you'd have the B minor, B major, B minor, B major, B minor, B minor, B minor, C sharp minor, than A bass, F sharp with the bass, B minor, than A bass, B minor, B minor, B minor, if you're digging on the 16th idea, you could work off the bass, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, for a bass, bass, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, for a bass, bass, down, down, up, a bass, down, up, down. That will be cool little variations. Step E minor. of how you can strum through Out on the Weekend by Neil Young. So good luck.